Thank you. Thank you. Just want to say that I am not happy to be here. That wasn't a joke. A lot of people say to me, hey, weren't you in that TV commercial with the orange M&M? I say, yeah. They say, well, what have you been doing since then? Well, what does it look like I've been doing? Perfecting my tennis game? Thank you. I'm not going anywhere. You know the best part about being inside an M&M? That wasn't rhetorical. Seriously, what is it? Because I'm at a loss here. It sure ain't the views. You people will laugh at anything. But being inside an M&M is not as bad as you think it would be. And if they keep me here past 5 p.m., I get time and a half. Give me a break, huh? You ever have one of those days when you wake up and you have no idea where you are? Yeah, that never happens to me. Huh? No? All right. How about this one? I like to keep people up to date on my goings-on with my Twitter feed. Here's some from last week. Monday, 7.42 a.m. Woke up stuck inside a chocolate candy. Monday, 3.11 p.m. Took nap inside a chocolate candy. Monday, 6.49 p.m. Woke up from nap, looked around. Still inside a chocolate candy. I live an interesting life. Who do I have to pay to get a laugh around here? When I was a kid, my mother used to tell me, don't make that knotted up face at me. It'll stick like that. I said, Ma, I'm a pretzel. But I'm boom. That killed last night. So one time I got in a little fender bender and the cop says, do you want to press charges? Were you assaulted? I say, of course I'm assaulted. I'm a pretzel. Oh. Uh... Let me hear it, let me hear it. I will tell you there are a few things you need to know if you're going to live inside a chocolate candy. One, you're going to have to leave the big screen at the curb. Two, you will never see your mail again. Three, and this is probably the most important piece of advice, try not to live inside a chocolate candy. <laughs> you notice how everyone's laughing but me? But look at this place. It's like living in a Manhattan apartment. You'd pay 3000 a month to live in a place like this in Manhattan. Of course, there I'd have a much smaller chance of getting eaten. Huh. Small price to pay for peace of mind. My mother, she's always concerned about my safety. The other day she asked me, does your place have one of those panic rooms? I said, Ma, panic room? The whole room panics. You know, when I was a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut. I thought I'd be the first pretzel in space. Now, I'm the first pretzel in no space. Seriously, folks, I want to thank you for listening tonight. Thank you for coming out. Uh, in. And you've been a great crowd. I'm here all week. And the week after that. And the week after that. Mm -hmm. Yep, we got it. The week after that. Yeah.